So we're, uh, we're tooling around here after the Mid-America Trucking Show, the 2016 uh, Mid-America Trucking Show. And I'm looking at a really great looking truck here. Uh, sir, introduce yourself and tell me uh, something about the truck there. The year, make, model, all the good stuff that people were uh, asking you about it at the show. My name is John Sahoy. It's a 1987 Diamond Rear Glider kit that was never built. It's a C-116 model. I bought it about 10 years ago, and we've had it sitting in a warehouse, and we just decided to build it. We got it done, and got a KTA 600 Cummins with 18-speed in it, 370 rears, full lockers on new way air ride. It's only got uh, 2,012 miles on it right now. Well, that's one amazing-looking truck. Uh... Now, are you partial Diamond Rios, or is it something that you saw and fell in love with? Uh, our family's always had them, and we were the Diamond Rio dealer in the Philadelphia area, and uh, we ran about 15 of them at one point, and we still run about six of them every day. Now, being here at the Mid-America Trucking Show, what are some of the favorite things that people liked about the truck when they came up to it? Ah, uh, they all were just amazed that it was, you know, a Diamond Rio, because you only ever see, you know, Peterbilt's and Kenworth's and some Freightliners here in Mid-America and we figured we'd bring it out here and show everybody what we made. Well, ten four. in the years that I've come here, this is the first diamond reel that I've seen there, so uh, thank you so much for bringing it out. Oh, I appreciate it. I, it was a good time. A lot of people really liked it. You know, they were amazed at some of the stuff we did to it, you know. We, did a lot of different neat stuff that they didn't really do to them back in the day, you know. Well, elaborate for me. What were some of the things that you guys did differently on this truck that uh, the, the, the common person may not realize? Uh, they were not you had to really look at it, you notice that we moved the cab back nine inches and we stretched the hood to make it a long nose so that we could put the KTA motor in there to where it wouldn't be underneath of the cab if you had to work on it. It's out in front of the cab and just makes life a little easier to when you got to work on it. Yeah, they don't really make a lot of stuff for these, so like the air cleaner brackets, I had a company make them out of mirrored stainless steel. Um, we had to make the stack brackets. We modified the original factory stack brackets to hold the six inch pipes. Um, Smart things is we, you know, got a deck plate made, custom made deck plate. Uh, custom made brackets for the bumper so I would get the bumper down a little lower. Um, had somebody make a visor for it because they don't really make a good looking visor for them. They just make kind of like the everyday visor, you know. Well, I had Zimmermatic made the, the uh, air cleaner brackets and then I had Profab made my deck plate and my uh, visor. And I mean, they did a good job. I mean, they all they all did a phenomenal job. I mean, it's, it's tough to work with stainless steel like that. And they did a great job. And then my buddy from Bender's Buffeting Polishing, he, he did all my aluminum. I mean, he got the tanks looking like they're chrome. I mean, he's, we tease him. They call him the metal masseuse. And him and his buddy Larry, they're, they're the two greatest guys. I mean, they just did a hell of a job. They helped me out here this whole week. Our mechanic, Harry Durham, he's, he's about the best mechanic you'll ever see. I mean, he's he's incredible. I mean, he he did 99% of it, you know, because we were out working and whatnot. And 
He did a hell of a job. Now we had that uh, award show for the Paul K. Young uh, Truck Beauty Championship. Uh, did you get to take home any hardware? A lot of people liked it, and I figured we had a shot at something, but I guess there's something here I missed. I don't know, you know, but a lot of people, everybody came up to me, said they loved it, and, you know, a trophy would be nice, but, you know, just the people, the spectators coming around, the other truckers coming up and saying they, how much they like it, that's, that's worth more than any trophy ever could be. 10-4. Tell you what, she ain't bashful there. Did you tell me how much horsepower she's got? Well, we it's a KTA. We did a lot of work, and, you know, and uh, we're hoping it should be around thousand to eleven thousand eleven hundred horse. We're hoping we're gonna take it to a dyno day here in a couple weeks. Stay on the road here and see how it works. You know, we got some some fuel system issues we gotta work out, but hopefully by then we'll get them worked out. Ten four. Well, let our doer. I appreciate you coming out here on this loop so we can uh, get a good look at the truck there. And uh, you guys have a, a great trip back to the house there. All right, man. Back here.